Hey, what is up, you CISSP wannabes? These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day. I am Colin Weaver. Each and every day I give you two questions to ponder and contemplate. So let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, here comes question number one. A lot of words. TCP, the Transmission Control Protocol, is referred to as being a connection-oriented protocol. In part, this means that in order to transmit data, TCP-based protocols must first perform a three-way handshake in order to establish a connection between the client and the server. Now, of all of these different answer choices, which of them describes the back and forth exchange that occurs during the TCP three-way handshake? Go ahead and click pause, because it's a lot of words. Give it a read. When you're ready, click play, and we'll break it down. Okay, looking through all those choices. The way that a TCP uh, three-way handshake works is it starts off first and foremost by the client initiating the connection by sending a TCP send request. That's the send bit set to one or the send bit set. Okay. That in essence says that the client wants to get synchronized with and establish a connection with the server. So client send. The server is going to respond back with a send and an ACK. It's a single packet and that in the TCP header, both the TCP send bit and the ACK bit are both set. So coming back from the server is a send ACK. And then the third packet in the connection setup exchange is an ACK from the client. So the ACK bit will be set and the send bit will now be set back to zero um, in order to go and establish the connection. So client send, server send ACK, client ACK. That's a TCP three-way handshake. Question number two, 802.11 wireless LANs are inherently half duplex. Okay. Part of this means that they have to arbitrate the use of the medium in order to avoid collisions on the network. Now, of the following techniques that are listed, or all the following items that are listed, which of them is the mechanism employed by 802.11 wireless LANs in order to arbitrate the use of the medium and avoid, conf or excuse me, and avoid uh, collisions in the radio network? Go ahead and give those a thought. Click pause if you need to. When you're ready, click play, and we'll break it on down. Okay, first choice on the list is wave division multiplexing, WDM. That's a no. WDM is more associated with fiber optic transmissions, not what we're looking for here. Second option on the list, CSMACD, carrier sense multi-access with collision detection. No, that is how Ethernet, old school half duplex Ethernet did it uh, for copper-based transmissions. And so that's not what we're looking for here. Third option on the list is TDMA, time division multi-access or multiple access. Uh, TDMA is more commonly associated with the cellular phone networks, not with 802.11 wireless LANs. So that's not what we're looking for here either. Uh, then you have number four on the list, which is CSMA CA, Carrier Sense Multi Access with Collision Avoidance. And that is very much how 802.11 wireless LANs do it. It's actually an, an unbelievably intricate orchestration that these devices go in and do. And it's amazing that it works at all. Um, they use a variety of different techniques, one of which is referred to as a distributed coordination function, which is beyond the scope of this question. But uh, suffice to say, they use CSMA CA, which could also include the implementation of RTS CTS, Request to Send, Clear to Send. Now, wireless lanes don't jump to doing that. They don't like to use RTS-CTS, but it is a possibility if some really bad things are going on in the network as far as uh, you know, radio uh, optimization, if you will. Uh, but CSMA-CA is what you're looking for. Different frequencies for transmit and receive functions. Um, you can do that, uh, and in some cases it is done, but that does not help us with the arbitration of the medium. So not what we're looking for. Uh, token passing, no. Time slots, uh, again, not what we're looking for here. Although uh, time slots do factor in and how wireless LANs ultimately do what they do, it's a deeper part of CSMACA and the distributed coordination function of how wireless LANs do it. And then the very last item on the list is pulse code modulation. Nope, not what we're looking for here. PCM is more likely to be associated with um, uh, digital audio or even a uh, digital telephony. Uh, kind of stuff that you're doing. So nothing to do with 802.11 uh, per se. So the best answer here is CSMACA. All right, there you have it. That's two questions down. Nice job. Did you do well? Please let me know in the comments. If you like these questions and they're helping you as you're doing your study, and please make sure you click on the like button below. If you want to get them every single day, click on the subscribe button, and I will appreciate that. I'm going to see you tomorrow.